Hi people and welcome to a tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you how to install Minecraft Forge into Minecraft. So first thing you're going to want to do is back up anything you don't want to lose. Back up your .minecraft folder, back up your saves, back up anything you don't want to lose. So to get started, what first thing you want to do is launch Minecraft, go to your options, force update and done. Because you need a fresh clean install here. So this will download all your Minecraft packages again, your jar files, and it will be a fle fresh clean install for your current version of Minecraft. So once this is done, we need to take a trip to a website to get Minecraft Forge. So over here on my other screen I have some stuff to show you. As you can see, Minecraft's done. It's loaded. You can close this now. Right, so if you go to your to files.minecraftforge.net I'm sure you can see that there if not it's files.minecraftforge.net I'll put the link in the description below for this and you come to a page like this it has like, many different builds of Forge as you can see if you go down it's got tons of them like all of them even so what you want to do is probably get the recommended build you want the universal version the Java docs just like some like, files to help with people that are developers and the sources. Well, if you're a, like, a mod developer, you want the universal version. Now, you might not always want the recommended version. Usually the mods you are downloading will tell you what version of Forge they use. But I recommend getting the recommended version. So you, you just click there, you will get an AdFly link. Yeah, they, they seem to use AdFly, so... Once you get to here, we can skip add and it will download this Forge version and it won't take very long at all. And you can drag that into your desktop or wherever on your computer. So once you've done that, you can get rid of the web page for now. And you have your copy of Minecraft Forge here. Now, you can either just, you're going to need a program like WinRAR or 7-Zip for this to work. So make sure you use Google and get WinRAR or 7-Zip. It will probably only work with these two programs there may be some other programs but I'll get into that another day so you've got your copy of Minecraft Forge on your desktop what next thing you want to do is click your start button and you want to type in percentage app data percentage just exactly like that and hit enter and it'll bring you up to this spot on your computer if you're using Windows if you're using Mac or Linux I have no idea so you type that in, you get this folder open and you should have a .minecraft file somewhere in here. So let's open that up and as you can see here you've got some files. You want to open the bin folder and you want to see this file here, Minecraft, the executable jar file. So if you right click this and you ha have WinRAR 7-zip, you can like go to open with and then you choose WinRAR 7-zip. Do not choose that. You want to use WinRAR 7-zip. So open that up. And it should open like this. Or something similar if you're using 7-zip. Now, you actually want to go to this meta imp folder and delete it here. And you click yes. And it will disappear. And then you want to open up your Minecraft Forge file that you had here before. Now, you see there's a meta inf in here, you actually still want that. And what you want to do is pretty much select everything in here, and then drag it. Just drag it all in, and it would say this, do you want to, do you want to accept, click OK, sweep. And once that's done, you open up Minecraft and things should be good. So let's just log in here, and you can see Minecraft Forge is setting up some stuff. There you go. And when you load Minecraft, you should see down the bottom Minecraft Forge, Ford Mod Loader, MCP version, and what mods are loaded. At the moment, we don't have any mods in, but I actually have a spare copy of some mods in my downloads folder somewhere. So let's get one of these mods and show you how to put the mods in as well. May as well. For example, I'm going to use this Tower Kingdoms version and put it there. So let's just close Minecraft for a second. Once again, you want to type in percentage app data percentage into your search ring. 
open it up, go to Minecraft, go to mods, and drop in your mod. Now, 95% of mods will just drop into the mods folder, if they're a forge mod, that is. Some of them go into core mods, if it's a mod like not enough items, it will go into your core mods. But most part, your normal mods, just drop them in here. And then when I load up Minecraft, again, it should have the mod in it, so... There you go. It's got more mods loaded here. You can see Tally Kingdoms 2 has been loaded. And if I was to make a world, you would see it in here. Just do this quickly. Oh. For some reason, it didn't want me to go in the world. Play, play selected world. Let's do this. Shutting down internal server. Yeah, seems legit. And here you go, there's a mod. This is th this mod I just downloaded. And Minecraft Forge installed. You can put more mods in your old folder. I'll probably get into like looking at config files at a later tutorial. That's something that can become quite annoying when you are dealing with a lot of mods. But yeah, that's how you install Minecraft Forge. I'll put the link to Minecraft Forge website in the description where you can download the recommended builds. And yeah, this will probably work with any version of Minecraft as long as you're using a current build for that version of Minecraft, if you know what I'm saying. So yeah, that's uh, just a short tutorial how to install Minecraft Forge. I'll be doing some more tutorials soon. Thanks for watching people, and don't forget to leave a like a comment and subscribe for more as well as share and favorite and I'll see you soon thanks for watching people goodbye